Hey everyone, my name is Emily Duffner and I am a 2L at Notre Dame Law School. I'm about to take you on a campus tour. So we're gonna head all over campus. It is a beautiful sunny day here in South Bend. So I hope that you enjoy. So we're starting out the tour today with the law school. The law school is two buildings. So this is the original building right here. This is Keeney Hall. And then if you turn this way, on the other side of that arch is Eck Hall of Law. So that is the second building. The law school is located on South Quad, technically, um, but it is right by Main Circle. So as we're walking this way, you can see the Main Circle. This is a pretty popular pickup spot. Um, people will call Ubers to here. So definitely one of the uh, best ways to access campus. Right now I am walking up what we call God Quad. So you can see the law school over here to my right. Those windows up along there, that is where the library is. This is South Quad. Fun fact is that this is actually the longest continuous quad in all of North America. So it spans all the way down there and that uh, clear building with the pointed roof, that is one of the COVID friendly hangout spots that Notre Dame has built for its students. Now that it's getting warmer outside, we don't really need them so much, but it was really great in the winter, just a place where you could go and it was heated and you could safely hang out with your friends. But on a day like today, you'll see a lot of people sitting in the grass sitting on the quads. Um, it's just so beautiful out. It's about 59 degrees right now. We are walking down God Quad right now and you can catch that glimpse of the dome through the trees. I'll be sure to give you guys a really good view of it as we get a little bit closer. God Quad is where a lot of the original buildings to Notre Dame's campus are located. Another fun fact is that as I walk around, you'll notice a lot of the bricks are a beigey color, but when you come onto God Quad, they changed to this sort of yellowy brick color. They actually took clay from the mud at the bottom of the lakes and used that clay to make bricks. And so that's why they have this really unique yellowy color. Obviously that was something that was not sustainable as Notre Dame grew as a college and as a campus. So we've since switched over to this sort of beige brick, but if you see any buildings here that are yellowy, you know that they are an original building on Notre Dame's campus. So here we have Washington Hall on the right. The main building is right in the middle with the Golden Dome, very iconic spot on campus. And then to the left there is the Basilica. The Golden Dome houses all of the administration as well as undergraduate admissions. So a fun fact about the dome is that that is real gold that it is gilded in. And about every 10 years or so, they actually regild the dome and strip, it's, a, it's, it's not solid gold, I should clarify. It is painted with a very thin layer of gold. And so about every 10 years or so, they actually strip the gold to regild the dome. And that gold, the old gold is used to be put in the paint for the football team's helmets as well as your diploma. So when you graduate from Notre Dame, you have to take a little bit of the dome with you. Right now I'm heading down towards the lakes and towards the grotto. So Notre Dame actually has two lakes on its campus. The full name of the university is University of Notre Dame du Lac, so Our Lady of the Lake in French. The lakes are absolutely beautiful this time of year. A lot of people like to go on runs around them. There is like about a two mile loop path if you go around both. So that is, um, you, you might see some runners out today. So the spot that I'm heading down to now is the grotto, which is just a very peaceful place on campus. I won't say too much once we get down there, just to respect anyone who might be saying a prayer or having a moment of silence. But it's, I mean, on a day like today, and I just keep repeating that because I cannot believe our luck today. It is just so beautiful and peaceful. And you'll see the lake in the distance there. That is St. Mary's Lake. It is the bigger of the two. 
All right, we're gonna head down to the grotto. We'll take one last look and then head back up the stairs. All right, so as we walk across God Quad, I thought that I would point out just a few more things. This building up to the left is Washington Hall. Typically, it is a performance space with a theater. Now we are approaching the La Fortune Student Center. This is one of two student centers on Notre Dame's campus. This one is the older of the two. Note the yellow brick. Like I said, it's an older building. It's really cool though, um, kind of mixes the old with the new. As you go inside, you'll see some of the restaurants that we have in here. So, you know, when this was built in the 1800s, there certainly was not a Starbucks, but there is now. As we walk through here, you can see some study spaces. Here's the subway. Up to the right is the Huddle Mart. And then over to my left is Smash Burger. We are currently headed towards the undergraduate library, which is called the Hesburgh Library. So as a law student, you would obviously be allowed to study in here. It's just a little farther away from the law school, but still a great spot. It is very big, as you can see. It's 14 stories tall, so there's plenty of space for you to find somewhere to study. And I've just got to point it out as always, that is my old dorm from when I was an undergrad, Breen Phillips Hall, proudly located on North Quad. All right, so we are walking through the first floor currently. This has all been fairly newly renovated within the last few years or so. I would say maybe this construction is about four years old. So it looks really nice, lots of natural light in here. This is the Word of Life mural, which we all colloquially call Touchdown Jesus. It is made out of stone and it is, you know, a just 14 story tall um, portrait depicting a bunch of scenes, biblical scenes. Um, a fun fact is that Jesus's head alone is eight feet tall, if you can imagine that. So a lot of people call that library Club Hess because as I mentioned, it's the Hesburgh Library. It is named after Father Ted Hesburgh, 
who is one of the presidents um, of the University of Notre Dame. He is very, very well known, um, well known for his participation in the civil rights movement, as well as doing some pretty important things for Notre Dame. He is actually the first president to admit women to the university. And now we are approaching Notre Dame Stadium. So something that's really cool about going to Notre Dame is that the stadium is really located right in the middle of it all. So it's something that I walk by on my way to campus every day. My apartment building is located over to the left that way, probably about five minute walk from here. Yeah, so we are right in the heart of it all at Notre Dame Stadium. Something really cool about the stadium is that in 2015 or 2014, I believe, Father Jenkins, who's the president of Notre Dame, decided that he really wanted to make the football stadium the hub of campus. So he came up with this Campus Crossroads project, which was a $400 million construction project, adding on three buildings to the football stadium. He figured it wasn't being visited enough throughout the year since it was really only students were only going there for football games as well as uh, graduation ceremony in the spring. So he decided to really make it the center of campus by adding in a student center as well as two academic buildings. So now I am in the second student center. As I mentioned, we have two here. This is Duncan Student Center. It is eight stories tall. First floor is uh, restaurants and some seating areas, some study spaces. In a normal year, you'd be able to eat here. This year, you cannot though. And then the second floor, which we will pass, has some more study spaces. As you move on up to the third and fourth floors, that is where the Smith Center uh, for Recreational Sports, I believe is its name, Anyway, it's the gym. So the gym is two stories tall. The fifth floor is dedicated to undergraduate career services. So we can see stairs up there. A lot of your life in law school is centered around the law school because you have everything you need in there. We have our library, our career services are located in there. As a law student, you actually get a locker so you can keep your case books and your lunch, clothes, anything you might need in your locker. Um, we also have a cafe in there that's called Crossings. So you can grab lunch. They have a special every day as well as a sandwich bar, coffee, snacks, and all of your classes will be in the law school. But there's a ton of resources for you around campus as, uh, as a law student. So don't feel as though it's for undergrads only. All of this is still accessible to you. Something I think is really cool about Notre Dame is that you do get to engage with the campus as a whole. It doesn't just have to be uh, the law school. There is AC, which is the newer of the two buildings. This is also where the courtroom is located. The courtroom can seat about 200 people in a normal year. Speakers will come and give presentations there. Um, even sometimes live court sessions will sit in the courtroom. 
All right, so we are looping back around and we're gonna head under the law school arch. So a fun fact about this arch is that when they decided to expand the law school and add on the left-hand side of it, the right-hand side has been here, I think since the law school opened in 1869. But when they decided to expand and add the addition of Eck, they needed to put in this arch because the marching band marches from the steps of Bond Hall, which is all the way back that way, past the dome, kind of near the grotto. They always march from the steps of Bond Hall to the stadium on game days. And there's actually a clause in um, like the zoning laws of campus. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but you can't cut off the path of the band with any building as you expand. So they had to put in the, oh, now you can't see it, it's blocked by a bush. So they actually had to put in the arch so that the band could still walk their same path from Bond Hall to the stadium. And so the band actually walks under the law school arch every game day. All right, so we are back where we started. I'll give you one last look at the law school and then talk a little bit about why I chose to, came to come to Notre Dame for my law school and stay here. So we are back where we started and I thought that I would talk a little bit about why I chose Notre Dame for my law school. So I obviously am a little bit biased and came into this loving Notre Dame as a whole. It is such a special place and I hope that I gave you a little bit of that on your tour today. The people here are just really incredible, so supportive and so kind and willing to help you. That's something that's definitely true in law school. Um, kind of the undergraduate culture where it's very supportive and not so competitive carries over to law school. And your classmates here are just so incredibly supportive and kind and there are really good people at Notre Dame. So knowing that I just really figured it would be such an incredible and supportive and positive place to do law school. Um, and that extends also into the alumni network. Um, I've found that in networking with people who either went to Notre Dame for law school or for undergrad, they are just so enthusiastic and willing to help um, any current Notre Dame students. Notre Dame alum, alum really do love Notre Dame students. So that community that you get here does extend beyond your three years on campus. Um, yeah, I mean, and on a day like today, I just don't see how you can say no. Look at that dome, look at that sky. It is uh, absolutely beautiful and really such a special place.